Asphalt 9 Legends has released its first update based on feedbacks from its community of racers. Here's what's new. The update features the new club race mode where clubmates can compete against each other by creating private game lobbies. Also, a new reward system has been included with this update where one can earn some extra tokens and cards by completing daily tasks. Multiplayer races will now be more competitive and fun with rank based rewards for scoring some particular top percentiles. Coming with this update are two new cars, the Lotus LS Sprint 220 and the Ferrari J50. The update also features increased customization for touch control along with a couple of game balancing changes. One of the major changes in the UI is the revamped main menu. The earlier menu cards have now been replaced by bottom tabs with carousel like slides showing the summarized statistics for each option. Featured cards from the Legend Store and the claimable card packs can now be directly accessed through the Shop Deals option. However, the update has removed the option to buy all available cards at one go. Another time-saving improvement in the update is the removal of the Trade Now prompt screen. It has been replaced by an information window that one can opt to never show again. The daily events are probably the easiest way to earn credits and tokens in Asphalt 9. Although after the update, things haven't changed much here other than the UI. The selected events just gets highlighted by a new green bar and an enter option. Multiplayer races are what makes Asphalt fun and competitive at the same time. Added to this enthusiasm are the free packs that can be claimed by participating in races for a particular number of times. With this update, the multiplayer season rewards get balanced with proper card packs. The quantity and the quality of the cards awarded in the league packs get better with higher leagues, with the bronze pack featuring single uncommon, rare and epic cards and the legend pack featuring handful of epic cards only. The current season hasn't yet implemented the percentile rewards, but forthcoming seasons will be featuring rewards for scoring specific top percentiles, as in the limited time leaderboard events. All leaderboards now display the scores of club members in a separate tab. Next, we come to the main attraction of the update, the club races. Inside the club status, one can now see the number of players online as well as available races to join. Also, one can now host a custom club race, specifying the location, the track, and the number of laps for circuit races. Selecting a car is the final step. However, like any other race in the game, club races consume vehicle fuel. Once set up, a game room can add up to 7 other players from the club. The other members get notified about the race through the club chat. And in case one decides to cancel the race, the reduced fuel is returned back to the selected car. As for the new cars, the Lotus Alice Sprint 220 has been added to Class T. The vehicle specifications indicate a very good handling score, where it's lagging behind in top speed and acceleration. It is currently available through the premium card pack only. The Ferrari J50 has been added to Class A, taking a place between the Nismo and the Viper. Its initial specifications indicate a good acceleration, although it pins behind its neighbor, the LaFerrari. The carrier tab contains a list of cars for carrier season races and displays the information regarding carrier completion. A new season has also been added to Chapter 2, requiring the Lotus Alice. Last but not least, the daily goal section enlists a number of tasks that can award a variable number of tokens and cards. These tasks are time limited and get refreshed at particular intervals. When a task is completed, a badge marking its completion is displayed at the bottom of the screen and one can head back to daily goals section to claim the reward. Upon completion of a specific number of tasks, a goal combo can be unlocked and claimed as well.